Hey everybody, how you doing? November 14th, it's Wednesday. Tanks to Modern Age is finally trickling its way to us here in the U.S. Some people have gotten it, some people haven't. I got lucky, I got mine. Um, but I know quite a few people are still waiting for their local game shops to get them in. So, this is going to be an unboxing. But the main reason for this unboxing is because from those that I have read from the Tanks Modern Age Facebook page that myself and my friend John started, you know, we also started the, the first Tanks World War II page. Um, it's a fan page, not officially endorsed by Gale Force 9. Okay, just to make that clear. Um, but a lot of members of my page, I'm just saying my page because I'm referring it to myself. Anyway, um, they've stated that some have received some things, some people have not gotten certain cards or unit cards. Everybody's getting things mixed just a total mixed bag of what people are receiving <clears throat> granted this is like 20 or 30 people so there could have been an error as far as packing goes um, I'm just gonna show you what I have in this box and my buddy John like I said he helps manage the page as well he may have something totally different or he might have the same thing we don't know we haven't gotten linked up together yet so let's take a look so of course you know you've got the modern age box complete modern age game um, and of course, I'm going to give you my two cents, my opinion of this, but let's go over the box first and then we'll go over that. Okay. So this is going to be the M1A1 Abrams or just basically the M1 Abrams and the Russian T64. You get two, two and one M1. Here's what it looks like on the back of the box. Basic stuff, just like the first tanks game for World War II. Which, uh, honestly, is quite fun. It's a very fun game. It is a fun game. I just got very bored of it. Um, just of World War II in general, because there's so many video games and whatnot. So anyway, so the box contents. I'm going to read this off real quick. 28-page rule booklet, which you can download for free from the Gale Force 9 page. Uh, their website. Three plastic tanks. As I stated, one Abrams, two, two T-64s. Twelve dice. 16 movement, destroy tokens, 28 damage tokens, 4 objective tokens, 2 measuring arrows, 10 model identification tokens, 2 helicopter elevation tokens, 1 advantage token, 2 cardboard forest, 4 cardboard buildings, 30 tank cards, 6 helicopter cards, 5 platoon cards, 15 crew cards, 5 hero crew cards, 17 upgrade cards, 32 damage cards. Models are supplied unpainted and will require assembly. Blue and paint, not included contents may vary. There's a keyword right there. Contents may vary. All right. So they're pretty much right up front. I know a lot of people don't read that line right there, but it says it right there. Contents may vary. Normally, what this refers to is as far as the colors of the models and things like that. But I think really in this case, it really does mean that these cards might vary greatly. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. I've already taken off the cellophane because it's just so much easier that way. So right off the bat, let's take a look over here. So we've got dun dun dun. We've got six blue dice, six red dice, American Russian. Uh, they're not the really fancy ones that have like the 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 national insignia on them. Do you really need that? No, it's nice, but this will do. This is enough. You don't need that. All right, so our cards, they're all packed away in cellophane. We're going to look at these in a second because this is what's going to be interesting. Um, particularly, I want to look at these. The big, the bigger cards, these are your unit cards, your model cards. All right, so the two T64 sprues, um, I don't have any of these from Flames of War because I do not play Flames of War, nor do I play Team Yankee. So I'm assuming they have everything, possibly some extra option parts that we don't know about because I am seeing this looks like a tank barrel here, like a barrel there, and then this looks like another really large barrel. So I'm going to have to look this up um, to see what the difference is. I, again, just like in my World War II tanks games, I am not a tank aficionado nor am I a historian of World War II, so I really don't know. 
Uh, same thing here. Same exact sprue. I'm not seeing any difference on it. All right, here's your M1 Abrams sprue. It looks like it's got a lot of stuff on here. Um, I'm assuming most of this is option parts. I'm thinking the color they were going for was a uh, NATO green. Um, so yeah, that's that's just what I'm assuming. You do have one open Coppola right there. And just some extra bits, lots of extra stuff. I don't think a lot of this is going to even go on the model. And there's your treads right there. So yeah, definitely repaint this. Uh, you know what? This this color reminds me of Green Army Men. Those Green Army Men you get, the real cheap ones. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this over. All right, well, we'll look at the terrain in a second. So here's your assembly. Oh, two sheets. Assembly for T64. I'm just seeing one barrel here. Let's see, careful, move the parts, trim off. Okay, so it looks like it takes that really big barrel. That's the one that's on there. I'm going to look at the card, though, because if they're separate cards, this is nothing to magnetize and be able to swap them out. Uh, Abrams, I think the Abrams was basically just a simple little thing. Uh, what's the difference here? It looks like the barrels are different between the IPM1 and the M1A1. Um, so yeah, that's just basically, that's just a magnification variant. That's easy to take care of. That's easy to do. Comes with Grow Your Battles with Flames of War. Of course, we're going to advertise Flames of War. Why not? Um, I'm tired of that. Team Yankee, I was interested in getting Hammerfall. Never could get my hands on it. Um, not sure that I really want to. But it's basically the same thing. One plastic M1 Abrams and two Soviet C64s. Team Yankee mini rule book, hammer fall, terrain cards, dice, unit cards. Um, yeah, there's no point in me even getting this now that I've got tanks. No point. And your rule book. Um, rule book is, is the rule book. Um, you know, Cold War Europe, World War Three. Um, so yeah. Alright, like I said, we're going to just review the box contents right quick first. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then it's got the typical... Let's open this up. This is the typical cardboard terrain that comes with it. Punch out stuff, and I know I'm hitting the camera already. So let's put this down because we're going to lay them back in. That's the forest. Both sides, pretty much the same thing. Here goes some of your tokens. Some more terrain. Looks kind of reminiscent of the stuff from, uh, well, that side anyway, from World War II. Here's more of the modern terrain. There's your not McDonald's right there. Objective tokens. I don't know, whatever building you want this to be. Movement, tokens, damage, objectives. Movement arrows, another forest. Here's your helicopter movement stuff. High, high. And I guess you just flip it over for low and low. I honestly have not read the, the book yet, the rule book. I'm going to do that today. It's just, the, all I need to learn are the helicopter movements. Everything else is pretty much the same, as far as I know. Um, <clears throat> tactical advantage, I am not aware what this was, because we never used this in, I don't even think it was in the World War II version, the first version of the game. I honestly can't say, because we never used anything like this, so I don't know. Alright, so, here we go. Now we're going to look at these cards. And this is the part that, like I said, a lot of people are saying is different in their sets. Some people are getting this. Some people are getting that. Um, I'm more interested in the unit cards because these, the crew cards and the upgrade cards, they're just far too numerous to go through right now. And let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, they did a better job of putting these things in there. Don't want to use a knife, but I'm going to have to.
There we go. Oh, I see. They wrapped it up inside. Okay. So your and I know I'm doing this off camera. I'm gonna adjust the camera real quick because we've already seen that part. Let's go over here. There we go. Trash. Okay, so we've got our cruise. Let's see real quick here. Because I think the thing people were saying, the most common one I read on anyway was that they got no Russian crew cards or no Russian hero cards. So we'll just look at this real quick, see see how that holds up. I'm not gonna go through them all. American, American, global, 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 global. That's not good. Here's another American Alpha 66. I know this plays some sort of role in the game. These are pretty much the same cards that are in World War II. And so far... No. There were no Russian heroes in here at all. That's rather dis, dis, uh, disconcerting, I should say, just to put it nicely. Yeah, so this is all I got. Joseph Fortelli, Robert Folk, and Alpha 66. Well, this is a Doctrine card. So there's only two, two heroes. They're both American. Okay, that, again, that's rather disconcerting. Let's see. Let's see if they were mixed in here. I have read that also that they were mixed in with the, uh, the with your critical deck. Now I'm surprised this time it only came with one critical deck. My World War II version came with two critical decks. No, I take it back. No, it was just one. It was just one. Lucky hit. Lucky hit. I'm just gonna breeze through these here real quick. If you get a chance to read them, you know, go ahead read them, but. I am looking for a Russian card, a Russian hero card. All right, so here's a crit deck, some more. Sean Bannon. American, there we go. So they are mixed in. They're mixed. Okay, so they're mixed in with your crit deck. So you get three American, four American, Richard Kelp, one Russian hero card. So let, let's do that again. Let's do that again. Then. So. This is Doctrine, so we're not going to count that. So you've got four American hero cards, one Russian card. You've got one M1 in this kit, in this starter set, two, two, two T64s. You only got one freaking Russian card. That's crazy. That's that doesn't seem right to me at all. Mm -mm. At least they could have had at least one more, one more Russian card. Because honestly, I want to play the Russians more than I want to play the U.S. Um, just because I want to do the Hind Swarm. Just to be totally honest, and I've said that before. <clears throat> so that that kind of sucks. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, I'm starting to get into my opinions. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at the unit cards. This is what I'm getting, and like I said, it looks like the contents may vary. So you've got one LAV-25, a Hummer with the toe. 
L A V A T M one sixty three Vads American M sixty Patton American M9001, M901 ITV, American. You got the Cobra helicopter. Of course, you're going to have your M1A1, your M1. Well, actually, this just says M1 Abrams. Let's see if there's a different one. Yes, there is. IP M1 Abrams with the larger gun. Uh, big difference between them is it looks like just this right here. That's it. Everything else is the same. Uh, just the armor rating. The PM1 has one more has one more armor than the M1. Okay. So here's another M1. So you got different cards, at least different. What's the difference between this one? All right. So hold on. Let's take a look at this. So you got just the M1 Abrams, 22 points, oh sorry, M1 Abrams at 22 points, IP M1 Abrams at 24 points, and then the M1 A1 at 32 points. Okay, so I need to separate these anyway, and this is what I'm really looking for, the Russian stuff. So BMP1. BMP2. Oh, yeah, these are like super sticky together. T55. T55 AM2. T62. T62M. Oh, boy, these are sticky. T64 at 20 points. T72 at 18 points. Okay, so it does come with the hind. Okay, sorry, somebody had came to the door, so I had to answer the door real quick. <coughs> so anyway, so yeah, you've only got one hind card as far as I can see. So that takes care of that. Let's go to the British now, since that's seen. Ooh, alright, so French are included in here as well. So we got Spartan MCT, Scorpion, Swing Fire, Striker, Skimitar, Skimitar, Chieftain, Chieftain Stillbrew, the Lynx, hmm, that's interesting, let's see, what's that, alright, now French, we have the AMX-30, AMX Off-1, AMX-10P, Gazelle, 20mm Gazelle, okay, don't know what that difference is, and the gazelle hot. Um, okay, so I guess you probably go with this lower point card, but it's got better numbers. The gazelle hot, it's got missiles. Okay. That takes care of that. And. Alright, we got. Alright, so there are some mixed up in here. So, German side, Mada. Leopard 1, of course, has got to have the Leopard 2. PAH Hilo. All right. So the German side does not have very many. They've only got four. I didn't count, but obviously the American side has more. So these are... I don't know what these cards are. Because, again, I didn't read the rules. Just opening this up. Team Yankee Sharpshooter. I get what kind of card is this? I don't know what kind of card this is. We'll figure it out. Then you got Red Banner. If I can separate some of these. First Panzer. I guess these kind of work like Doctrine cards. Berlin Brigade. And I don't know why it's escaping me to say this. Curisua Squadron, Curisua, Guadisa. It's been a long time since I've spoken French. A very long time. So I know I'm mispronouncing that. Anyway, so that's what you got. 
So, now it's time to say what I think about this. I'm going to start, let me just move stuff out of the way as I speak. Um, is the value there for $25? Hell yes. Because each brew is about $10 for the models. So your models, so you got 10, 20, there's 30 right there. Uh, we'll call the token and terrain pack another 15. We'll say they're $15. Okay, so that's 45. If you were to get a card pack like this, um, because they never did release them, like I kept hearing rumors that, yeah, yeah, we're gonna release uh, just card packs so you could, you know, fill out all the stuff from uh. From Flames of War, never happened. Hopefully they'll do it with this, with Modern, because there's a crap ton of models you could get. Um, so we'll say if you got a card pack like this, easily, I'm gonna be generous. I'm gonna say twenty dollars for this card pack. No, I'm gonna say fifteen. So ten, twenty, thirty, forty-five, sixty dollars. I'm gonna say sixty bucks just for that. Um, we're not going to include these because these you got to get with the starter set. So I'm going to say this is part of the starter pack, but just for argument's sake, we'll say we'll say ten dollars for this. So that's seventy. I'm going to say seventy dollars. I think that's a fair assessment. Put these in here. Actually, you know what? Let me wrap these up because I got to put these all into a into my storage case here shortly. So yeah, I think the value is there. And then the dice, um, in my honest opinion, these are just regular dice just with different colors, $5. So $65, $70. Is it worth it? Yes. What do I think is wrong with this box? So I think there's a couple things. Um, one, the lack of Soviet heroes, I already mentioned that. They should have been, there should be at least two. At least two. That should have happened. Um, another thing, and I think this is a missed opportunity. Um, you got cards included for helos. I understand you're not going to include a bunch of helos. However, whenever I speak to my friends that are not, that are not prior military. You know, a lot of my friends are prior military. You know, I live in a military town. So a lot of my friends are prior military, but those that are not, family and friends, um, when I say Russians and Cold War, because I am of that age where I lived through the Cold War, you know, I was around, um, but those who are, do not have prior military experience, you hear Cold War, you hear Russian, first thing you think of is a hind, because they always say, uh, that big helicopter Russia used with the two cockpits. I think instead of two, two T-64s, include a hind. If you would have included a hind, that, that would have really set this off. <clears throat> M1 versus a hind, that would have been nice. Would have been very, very nice. So that's a missed opportunity. Um, speaking of the launch, just in general... Of everything like like a lot of people have said um Gale Force 9 is kind of hit or miss when it comes to releases and release schedules because I know people who've gotten their stuff a week ago I was only able to get my stuff today so you know and it depends where in the country you were uh, one guy in California got his a little over two weeks ago. I don't know how, but he did get it a little over two weeks ago. Then I had another guy in Jersey who got it last week. I'm getting it today here in Texas. My friend got it here today in Texas. Um, yeah, it's just all over the place. The releases for the first wave, I'm going to be honest, I was rather underwhelming. It was rather underwhelming. Because I was expecting at least a Hummer to be released. The Hummer and, you know, maybe the Hind, the Apache, Longbow, Cobra, something. Some of the Helos. So I could at least have the option to try out the Helo stuff with official models. With official models. Let me put it like that. And we don't have that opportunity to do so. Which is very... 
it's very disappointing. It is very disappointing. So, now this is, again, I don't have Team Yankee stuff. I don't have Flames of War stuff. So, those players who have that, they're good to go. You know, they've got, now they've got at least one card. So, they could go ahead and use those models and use the other models and do a, you know, a nice roundabout game. But for me and for many of my friends, we didn't get into Team Yankee. So, we... Have, those cards are going to be sitting here forever because we're never going to have a use for them. Um, in my case specifically, Team Yankee is played by a very small group of people. And by small, I think there's only three or four. Um, our local game shops do not carry the Team Yankee stuff at all. We got a special order it. So it's not like I could go on the, show, the store today and pick one up. Pick something up off the shelf. So yeah, I'm going to try this out. You know, I can't do that. <clears throat> so... I don't know, hit or miss. I mean, the values here, nice presentation and all that. I just think it could have been better. Swap out that T64 for a hind. That that would have really, really made me happy. Or if, you know, I, I could have picked up a, a hind model or even a Cobra model or Apache model from the Tanks Modern Age line. I would have been happy. I would have paid the extra $10 for that. That wouldn't have been a problem. Um, also, there were no French releases that we saw. None at all. Um, I think we just had the Leopard. I, yeah, just the Leopard was available also. And really, that's about it. There wasn't much else. So I saw T64s at my store, M1s, Leopard, um, a Chieftain. And I think there was one more. I can't remember, but it wasn't French. So, yeah. So, I don't know. You guys make up your mind. This was just an unboxing video real quick. Uh, not really quick. It's almost 30 minutes. So, just to close this up, make it an even 30 minutes. As far as the possibility for gaming, I like this. Remember, how old I am? We could play Red Dawn very easily. Uh, Twilight 2000 scenarios can be played with this really easily. Um, there's no infantry rules. Well, apparently there are platoon. Well, no, I guess those are what those cards were, platoon cards. Um, so yeah, we have that. Um, I do have some modern, uh, 15 millimeter minis from Kursan Miniatures for infantry, specifically their U.S. Army Rangers, uh, or Delta Force, depending how I want to paint them, and some operators. We all know what that means. All right, so take it easy. You know, let me know what you think. Did you pick it up? Were you able to pick it up? Can you even pick it up where you're at? Uh, what do you plan to do with it? As far as paint schemes, I don't know how crazy I'm going to get with these. I'm definitely going to go the Twilight 2000 World War III thing. So there might be a lot of graffiti on stuff. We'll see. Because it is World War III. So we can go a little crazy with these. More so than we could have with tanks. There were tanks World War II. Anyway, take it easy. Stay safe, everybody. Hope to see you soon. And... You know, have a good one.